It is hard to have great conviction on one's call on the Fed right now. Dean Mackey, Chief Economist with Point72. So Dean, the US hiring boom continued its momentum in March, beating expectations to add 215,000 jobs. What is your immediate assessment of the data? Yeah, the March employment report was a solid report. It shows that the labor market continues to make progress. We're, we're adding over 200,000 jobs a month on average, and this month was, was in line with that. Uh, so it, it and we also saw a bit more strength in average hourly earnings uh, than we've been seeing over the past few months. So uh, on balance, I'd say this was an encouraging report. The only part that on the surface doesn't look encouraging is the rise in the unemployment rate by a tenth. But that was really just due to uh, an increase in the number of workers coming into the labor market. The participation rate rose a tenth on the month. So that's hard to get worried about. Okay, well, the dollar has been headed for its biggest weekly decline in almost two months, as speculation the Fed is set to maintain a gradual pace for raising interest rates regardless of today's job report. How significant do you expect the strong employment data to be on the Fed's actions in the short term? I don't think this will be a decisive report in the Fed's thinking. Uh, the Chair Yellen's speech this week was pretty clear that the Fed's not going to be raising rates in April. She didn't say that directly, but the tone of the speech was made that clear. Um, so really, it's the, the next couple employment reports will be probably more important to the decision of whether they raise in June or not. And then we also have to uh, think about the market developments, the international developments. So I, don't, I think this report keeps a hike as soon as June in play, but it's certainly not decisive on that front. There's a lot more data to see. Right. Well, the Fed have said that they will raise rates twice this year, despite Janet Yellen recently citing concerns regarding global headwinds. Are you expecting to see two rate hikes in 2016? Yeah, it's hard to have great conviction in one's call on the Fed right now, given there's uh, Chair Yellen has put so many variables on the table as things that could possibly delay a rate hike. Uh, my baseline case is for the Fed to raise rates in June and also to raise rates later in the year. Uh, so I certainly would expect the Fed to raise rates at least twice and perhaps more. Uh, but it's, as, as I mentioned, given all the caveats she highlighted and all the risks she saw, it, it's difficult to have a lot of conviction in that view right now. Okay, you mentioned that the next two employment reports will be important. Are there any other key indicators you'll be keeping a close eye on? Yeah, the employment report's the, the biggest single one. Other things that will matter are things related to the consumer. Uh, consumer spending, retail sales, those will be quite important. And then the, I would say the ISM manufacturing report will be, will be significant as well. Um, if that strengthens, it may give the Fed some more confidence that the manufacturing sector, which has been quite soft over the past year, might be strengthening. Thank you, Dean. That's all from the Duke Ascopi TV team this week. We'll be back on Monday for the latest updates. See you next time.